gravity. There's no such thing as super gravity. And I know people aren't going to like this, but super gravity, uh, they're trying to say that only part, part of the gravity is here, the rest of it is in different dimensions. That's what super gravity is. Well, everything that we see is in our dimension, including the effects of gravity. All gravity is, is a magnetic field. That's all it is. It's a magnetic field, just like if you had a magnet, it's got field lines, you get a piece of metal close to it, it's going to pull it in. Harder the closer it is. It's exactly the same. It's only strength, its strength is affected by the two matters. Okay, so if you've got two magnets, they're going to pull each other closer together harder. But if you've got a magnet and a piece of metal, then it's going to be weaker because only one of them is really drawing in a lot. And you took away the other one, and not both of them pulling on each other. It's the same with, with the earth. The earth and the matter that it's pulling down to it. You know, it's not a magnet in metal. It's different types of matter. So there's going to be different types of magnetic attraction. Everything has it. Not just magnets. Magnets, it's just obvious. But the fact is, is all matter has it. There's no reason to make things up. I mean, it's obvious what gravity is. It's not a warp in space-time. There's no such thing as time. And that's another thing. There's no such thing as time. And the reason why um, um, clocks differ in time is because when they're in different gravity states, their mass is affected by that gravity. Therefore, they're not going to keep exactly the same time. If you If you put something above the earth where you got less gravity, then every molecule of mass, every atom in that equipment that you're using to keep time is going to be in a different state than it was when you had more gravity. Therefore, it's going to keep different time. And including centrifugal force. If you put it on a plane, if you if, if you put it in orbit, uh, anything that causes centrifugal force is going to change that equation. So you can't use that either as saying, well, this is how we prove that there's a problem with time. Because when you add centrifugal force, then you got another whole source of energy changing the state of gravity, not just distance from the object it's pulling. So you change the state of mass by the amount of gravity that's applied to it. Once you change the state of mass, you cannot use it to keep time. As a, You can't have a, a something that's sitting still all the way down on the Earth and it, all of its mass is in one state keeping one time, and then you put something above the Earth where it's in a different gravity field and all its mass is affected including what you're keeping time off of the the product you're keeping time off of it's still it's going to change it it's going to change the mass that you're using to keep the time so the time is going to be different it's not a complicated thing where you got to say oh there's a time dilation and uh, time is a real thing and all this is a bunch of made-up stuff it doesn't have any basis in reality whatsoever 